Hey folks, Ken and Data Monkey back for another episode of Monkey Shorts. And in this one, we want to tackle that question of, hey, I'm editing my Power Query and I really need to get back and interact with Excel because I need to see something that's on a worksheet that wasn't active when I opened the Power Query editor. How can I do that? Well, the normal answer to this, of course, is you just go and save your Power Query work, apply the changes, wait for it to reload its data. Then you can flip between the worksheets. Then you have to reopen Power Query again which let's be honest, isn't really awesome. So are there alternatives? And the answer is yes, depending on what you're dealing with. Okay, so if your workbook happens to be stored in a folder that is syncing to SharePoint or OneDrive, what you can do is you can always go and open up the web version, right? So if I'm in the Excel application, I can't flip between my worksheets, but if I'm in my web-based version, here's the same report, it's the same file, okay? You'll notice that I can flip between these things no problem. So if I'm just trying to figure out what's on a different worksheet, this is one viable option if my data is stored in SharePoint or OneDrive. Of course, what if it's not? Well, the challenge is that every single workbook when you open Excel is usually bound in one instance of Excel and Power Query locks you from being able to change anything in the instance outside of Power Query. So, if you know that there is a good chance you can need to do this, what you want to do is you want to save a copy of your workbook first. Open the original, open Power Query, get into that area. But when you need to get into looking at what's going on, what you can do is you can open an alternate instance of Excel. And to do that, what we do is we right click on our Excel icon here. Uh, if you don't have the file already in your recent list, you're going to go um, and work with the Excel button. I happen to have my copy right here, so I can use this one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on it, and this would be the Excel application or this as well. But before I open, I'm going to hold down my Alt key. So I'm holding down Alt, clicking open, still holding down the Alt key, and it says, do you want to start a new instance of Excel? Yes, I do. This is an instance of Excel that is not bound to the Power Query instance. So I can now go back to Power Query, but I can also come back over to the copy of the workbook and flip back and forth between the individual sheets. So if you're just trying to see something that's on a worksheet, this would work. Unfortunately, it, oftentimes you can't open the same workbook in a separate instance of Excel. It doesn't want to let you do that. So that's the workaround hack there. It's not perfect but at least it'll hopefully help you get past that irritating I'm locked out but need to see something on the worksheet issue. Thank you for watching this episode of Monkey Shorts. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to click on the Skillwave logo on the bottom left in order to subscribe to our channel. Or if you'd like to see more videos in the series, click on the playlist tile on the right. And if you'd like to get more comprehensive training, you should definitely check out our website at skillwave.training.